Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how Hasura helps you get GraphQL over Postgres views and functions that help you build powerful applications. The application that I'm building uses the New York cab dataset and I'm visualizing the number of rides that have happened near a particular location and they're bucketed by 30 minute intervals, right? So I can see that at midnight on the 3rd of January 2016, uh, from midnight to 12.30 a.m., there are 410 rides, and then the number of rides kind of slow down towards the day, and again, surprisingly, or maybe not surprisingly, peak around 10.30 p.m. at night, right? So if this is the application to be built, I'm going to show you how you can kind of create views and use GraphQL on those views to be able to set this app up. Let's take a quick look at our data set. Most of our data is inside the rights table. Let's take a look at the rights table. So these are the different columns that we have. We have the latitude and the longitude of the pickup locations, the amount that has been charged for the trip, and the drop-off locations as well. The amount of data that we have is fairly large as well. We have 10 million rows just for a month of write data. There are two Postgres extensions that we're going to use to make this easy for us. We're going to use the PostGIS extension to compute location and nearness. And we're going to use the TimescaleDB Postgres extension to be able to make complex queries on large time series data. I'm going to head to the Hasura console. I already have a table that captures the input parameters, which are the input parameters that are coming in from these two select boxes, the date and the place. And so I have the latitude, longitude, and the dates that I want to query. I'm now going to create a view that will capture this data. And that's what the view looks like. It uses a time bucket function to bucket all the rides data in 30 minute intervals and, and checks if the ride is originating within 400 meters of the given latitude and longitude that we're querying for. Let's go ahead and create this view. As soon as we have this view, we can expose, we can expose that view over GraphQL. Now, as soon as I can query it with GraphQL, I can now build this React application that queries for this data. So let's see that in action. So we can see that the number of rides during the day are very different for uh, Times Square and for Central Park. Let's check rides near City Hall. Let's try out a different date altogether. The code required to make this work is just vanilla GraphQL code. And that's the GraphQL query that we're making to render the particular chart. The key idea here is that if you're using the Postgres database, you can really exploit the features that Postgres has and then just use Hasura to give you GraphQL on views and tables that you create so that you can build applications super easily by getting an instant GraphQL interface.